<laughs> Mate. What was that? Well, it may be cold and dank outside, but it's sunshine in here, baby. Woo! We are back. Team K6 is back. Woo! 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 Yeah! Woo! Team K6! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! What, you just have Chinese? <laughs> yeah! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> and here is the little culprit. Here's the little bastard. I mean, we're talking like point of a millimetre, fractions of a millimetre stretch. But it's done 62,000 miles, so she's a little bit loose. But yeah, that thing right there has caused us so much heartache. We've done it. You've done it. No, We're I, back no, in the game. No, no, We're back no, in the game. I'm not taking the credit for this. Okay, why not? I'm not taking the credit for why anything. Not? Right? Why not? No, 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 no. It's a team effort. Okay, yeah. Team Suzuki. Team Suzuki, baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's fair to say, I mean, how long has it been here now? I mean, obviously you haven't worked in it full time. Just, but it's just been, a couple of days. It's been uh, Three September. Months. Four, five months? Nearly five months. Yeah, but we haven't worked on no. like five months. No. Like we might have had an hour one week and a two hours yeah. and then before Christmas I reached a stage where I'd had enough by then and just... situation critical. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> the day before we close, I have a look at it again and then sort of decide make a decision what we we're gonna go. We make the changes in the new year and it didn't work and it's like then it gets really serious because everything's running as it should do. Yeah. You'd never believe it, but with that amount of stretch in that chain, it's killed it. So, I mean, I don't even want to think about the hours that you put yeah, in. Yeah, but it worked brilliantly. That's what gets... Yeah. You would never, ever know. So my my big warning is now, is don't fit manual cam chain adjusters. <laughs> if you've got a problem, sort the freaking problem out, and yeah. that ain't the sort of problem out. That's a shortcut, mind. isn't it? That's a, that's a misfit shortcut. Yeah. To, to, just so we've been through three looms, five ECUs, yeah, some coil sticks, every single sensor, every single sensor, and every single sensor, not just once, three twice. times, okay, yeah, um, coil sticks twice, um, even questioned you know, the original new ones in boxes to be faulty, yeah, um, ECUs flashing, ignition switches. Uh, switch gear, handlebar switch yeah. gear, uh, just numerous hours that couldn't ever be costed out. If you and I'd hate to be, if you was a customer and dropped your bike in for that running problem, you'd be going something's they're pulling all over my eyes or a bunch of falls or whatever. But we really did try on this one. Yeah, really, I know, mate. I know. Really did try, <laughs> and it wasn't going to beat me. It, it'd come very close, but it and the bikes okay. never beat you, is it? No. no. So, so you know the bike's good. Um, you well, were. Not, you hang, were on, hang on, hang on, just the bike's not good. It is good. Why is it not good? It's a, well, it's got a little bit of rot in it, hasn't it? It's not. We've, got, we've put the new oil cooler on. Yeah. That stopped the leak from the oil cooler. Yeah. We still got the oil leak from the. Yeah, it's a, that's nothing, mate. Um, radiator is not leaking at this stage. No, no. And you kind of hope that it wouldn't start leaking, but it looks like it would start leaking. Um, but apart from that, we're, we're good, aren't we? K Team K6 is back in business. And the question is, you were sucking Chris's ball with something chronic when we were in here, when he left, when, the, when he took the bike well, it was a good bike. It's not that good, mate. He hasn't ridden it yet. It's bent as a banana. So my question to you now is... It's got an Odin shock in the back. Well, yeah, there is that. But, of course, budget bike back, isn't it? But my question to you now is, are you t still Yamaha or are you Suzuki? I'm all Suzuki, aren't I? Yeah. i got a fluff him when he's here. Because <laughs> got to make him feel good, because he's got no friends. Nobody no. loves him. No. So, fluff him while he's here. 
make him feel good for five minutes. No, that's fine. Okay. Suzuki. Oh dear, oh dear, Chrissy Wissy. Oh dear, oh dear. Look at that hole. And that's for the that's the what six grand where it matters on the road, and then where it matters on track. Oof. It's game over, son. It's game over. So, brief rundown. We tried all these bits, months of effort, months of pain, months of heartache, blood, sweat and jeers. And as Jane mentioned, it's, it's down to that chain, the cam chain. Just that chain and we're back in the game. I mean, it's making decent power now. We had a run the other day at 155, which is obviously a fair more than the R1. Needless to say, um, and we are 99% there. I've got to do, I've got to change the master cylinder because it's a it hasn't had the recall work and it's dangerous. And I'm not going to track with a dangerous master cylinder because we've all, well, I've certainly been there before. Uh, I'm going to change the lines because they are, I mean, whoever fitted these needs shooting. We've also changed the ball caller. Uh, and as you can probably see, focus, focus, it's cracked. Um, and it was also leaking out of that end and it was just a bit of a mess. So 35 quid eBay, new ones back on there. Um, apart from that, we're good to go. We are good to go. The old one's going to get another battering on track and on the road. Benadorm, let me come in you. Team Yamaha. Team K6. Team K6. Team K6. <laughs> you haven't got a jumper though, have you? No, I haven't, no, no, no. What I have got is 155 horsepower. And a, uh, I've noticed a little Costa Coffee master cylinder there as well. Well, yeah, I mean, the, we had a bit of an issue with the, uh, with the brake master cylinder, and it was, a, it was a recall one that hadn't done the recall work. So, as you know, mate, it's not very nice going to a track and breaking into a corner and not having any brake. So, no, I, thought, I thought I'd you know, make a little investment, because it's a little investment for us. Okay, but why don't you just get the recall master cylinder? Because you can go to Suzuki and go do the recall work. It's still 100 and something quid. It's free, recall. It's not? Yes. Anyway. Anyway. So, you join us here. This is the day before we leave. <laughs> and I, for one, am very excited because I, I took mine for a little spin yesterday, a little recce. Mm. And um, I must admit, I was fearing the worst because the last time I rode it, it had the linkage in and it was a bit of a dog. It was a bit of a munter, it didn't handle very well, rode like a bit, well, yeah, just a bit of a dog. Thankfully, jumped on it and you'll be pleased to hear, mate, it is. Beautiful. I am pleased to hear. Yeah. I am, because finally we can actually set sail upon this adventure, which we, I think it's probably almost ticking into a year now in the, in the planning. No. Well, in the planning, yeah. yeah. In the planning. Yeah. So, um, yeah, very happy. Finally, they are together. I'm ready to go. And, Reunited. Um, I just look forward to, what, 1,500 miles through Storm David, or whatever this new one's going to be called. Dennis the Menace. Dennis. Yeah. yeah. So, anything else? So, I also heard from JHS the calipers were cracked. Yeah, we had a cracked caliper. Yeah, the front caliper was cracked, and the um, the seat unit. I went to get on it, and it almost <laughs> crushed in in frustration, in pro, in protest with me on it. Prolapse. So we made a little. Yeah, it did prolapse. Made a little bracket, or Bono made a little bracket, and um, it's now properly supported. So. Okay. You know, we've been through this bike, you know, it's been through uh, if pretty much down to the engine and frame. It's basically brand new. It's basically brand new. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to it. She rides good. Um, I mean, and it does, it is looking all right now, actually. Yeah. It is looking quite nice. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm, I would still be hesitant about riding it that far without any headlights or mirrors. It's not going to be the most comfortable experience, but you've got Team Yamaha to support you and back you up. I can't wait. But you know, I'm less of a tart than you. You spent all this time cleaning and buffing and polishing it. I wasn't allowed to do anything. I wanted to ride it, but then you were like, oh, you can't ride it, you can't take it for a track day. Actually, which, if you, you remember the last video, you, you bemoaned me for saying I wanted to take it to Almeria and test yeah. it. Just where did you go with the Ducati 999? Donington tested it. So 
I think you can shut up. Anyway, anyway um, yeah, we're good so to go. We're, we're good, good to go. We're good to go. Finally. So thank you for your patience. And also a massive thank you to JHS Racing because I know we said it enough times, but those guys have put in serious hours buying these bikes. So Well, that one. <laughs> Mate, don't, don't, don't even start. Don't There's even not, No, the start. whole point of this trip is supposed to be fun. Let's not get it too... Only because you know that the, <laughs> the absolute, you have been the absolute worst, and that has been the absolute worst bike we have ever bought. 62,000 miles is done. 62,000 pounds, probably. And, it, and it's done about another 2,000 on a dyno, so yeah. Yeah, and did it have a new radiator as well? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And a new oil cooler. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just just checking. Yeah. And a new ignition barrel. <laughs> yeah. And a new key set. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's basically new. Yeah. Well, no, well at least nothing's going to go wrong with it now. So so look, budget aside and money spent because I think you can't really it's it's gone like obviously it's been a bit more of a disaster than we thought. So yeah. I think let's just go. Have yeah, fun. Exactly. Enjoy ourselves. Yeah. We all know that that's been problematic. Yeah. But let's put it to one side exactly. in the spirit of BBB. Camaraderie. Yes. Yes, we're going to Benidorm. Yes, both bikes are ready. Yes, we are. Go, go, go! But we've got some even better news because we've teamed up with Bimoto, who've come on board and thankfully saved us. And we're going to give away these bikes, these very bikes, to one of you guys. Mm, very lucky. So, fantastic competition opportunity. All you've got to do is go over to the BMOTO site, we'll put a link in the description, and get a quote. That's all you've got to do. Don't have to pay any money, free to enter, get a quote. There's terms and conditions on there which I suggest you read. We'll put them in the description anyway. We'll put yeah. oh, it's, it'll be pretty long. But no, anyway. but the link to the, anyway. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, and yeah, and massive thank you to them because they saw us struggling. We've worked with BMOTO. These bikes are insured with BMOTO and we've got titanium cover all the way down. So if they do break down, comes with the policy. Um, if you mention us as well, if you do go for the policy, you get that ex excess protection yep. free, which is up to 500 quid, some other little bonuses. So, um, and we get a little bit of a kickback off those policies. So if you do go ahead, know that you're helping us massively and saving our shizzle from this trip. So thank you massively to BMOTO. And I think you can go over there and say hello and say thank you to them. Uh, we'll put a link to their Instagram or something or Facebook. So. But they are very different. They're a kind of progressive, a bit like us really, very progressive and, and yeah. new. And they're not just a, a bunch of salesmen in a, in a warehouse. They, no. are, they know their bikes, they love their bikes, and they will go out of their way to help. So, yeah, and, they're and, and their bikers as well. I mean, yeah. uh, we've known Nick and Matt for a long time yeah. now. Um, they bought lamb chops old, blades, yeah. you know, they're, they're, they're good guys and all the people in the customer services know what a slip-on is and a master cylinder. So when you, when you talk about upgrades for your bike, there's no issue. It's not yeah. like, oh, what's that? It's got a sticker on it. We're not going to insure you. They're good guys. Anyway, massive thank you to them and yeah, let's get going. Oh, last in your... <laughs> oh, last in your... Just uh, 1,500 miles of Storm David. Storm Dennis. Storm Dennis. Yeah, yeah. With no lights, no seat. Thanks, guys. You're the best.